All right, I'm going to be looking at the uh, Moog filter. Moog filter here. Uh, it's this uh, ladder filter, and um, I'm not quite sure I have the right components in here. I just put in some J310s, uh, JFETs, and I'm not sure if they're exactly the right ones. The ones that they call out are no longer manufactured, so I've got to investigate whether I have a good substitute or not. But it's just a a, a source follower, so I'm thinking that's okay with the balance here. So it's picking off the differential here and and buffering it before it goes into the uh, uh, transconductance amplifier. Then there's uh, some feedback if you want to peek it. So uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, hook something on the input and we will sweep this filter. So uh, it's all hooked up over here and uh, let me zoom in here, okay. All right, so uh, this is the input. So it, uh, let's zoom in on that. Uh, so it just gets, uh, it starts out slow and then just gets faster and faster and faster. This is the window I'm looking at. So this is, this is the only that much of it. And it gets just faster and faster and faster and faster and faster over here. All right, so let's go back to the beginning here. Um, this is where it starts off at 10 hertz and goes up to 100 kilohertz. All right, so let's uh, turn off zoom. And this is going to be the input to our filter, even in amplitude. And uh, this is the output of the filter, so uh, it has some gain, so it's bigger. And it also is flat for a while, and then it has a roll-off, so it's it's acting as a as a uh, a low pass filter, so it's doing exactly what it should do. Now, uh, if I change the um, if I change the current in the long tail pair here, uh, I've changed the current here, so this resistor is going to be going to minus uh, minus 15 volts with a resistor, and that will set a current here in the uh, in the filter. And I'm going to use this decade box here to set that uh, set that current. All right, so I'll go back up to our display here and uh, let me go ahead and turn off the input. All right, so there's our filter and I'm gonna change the uh, current in the uh, filter. And there we go, it shifts higher and higher and higher in frequency. So that seems like it's doing the, doing the right thing. I've got a uh, 68 ohm resistor. Here's a 1K resistor. 2.2K resistor, here's a 3.3K resistor, and here is a 4.7K resistor. So there you go. So that's changing. So I like the way that looks. Now, the thing that I don't like the way it looks is if you start zooming in on this. So let's turn the input back on so we can see these both at the same time, input and output. And let's zoom in on this and uh, let's see if I can zoom way in. You can see the input is a nice sine wave, but the output is way distorted. Um, and so I think there's probably a DC offset that needs to happen, or I'm not quite, not quite sure what's going on. If I lower the input, if I change the, uh, the amplitude of the input, uh, it only sees a little bit of it. Okay, so you say, oh, we'll just put in more. So I've put in a whole bunch more, it just kind of goes, ah, it just goes, it just goes nuts. Uh, so yeah, I still need to figure out how this filter is supposed to work, but uh, it's doing something. It's changing, it's changing its bandpass with current. So that's a good thing. I think it's now is uh, how am I actually, um, well, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't speculate because I really don't know. It could be that the um, uh, signal gets distorted in this part, or it could be that the signal gets distorted in this part. Uh, the output is this, uh, this is amp amplifier here. So uh, I'm a little bit suspicious of this. Like I said, I didn't know exactly which, 
which substitute uh, J fets I'm supposed to be using, or even I am supposed to be using a J fet, or it's some other type of fet. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. These these look like they're just, I mean, they're in channel, but I don't know if they're if they're actually a J fet or some type, other type of uh, end channel fet. Um, so I need to look into that. But anyway, it is it is doing something, which is promising. Now the other uh, the other board that I built is this circuit over here, uh, which is the Roland filter, and uh, that's that's this that's this part here. This is the this section here was the Moog, and this is the Roland. Um, I do not have the right chip here yet. I have it on order, um, which is the uh, 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 instrumentation amplifier. I need an AD eighty uh, six twenty. So I have those on order. Those shouldn't take long to get here because they're actually being shipped from town. <laughs> it's another kind of a surplus store online. They used to have an open, um, it's called Altronics. They used to have an open uh, store that you could go in and browse around and stuff in, but not anymore. So anyway, they do seem to have some. Well, got those on order and uh, yeah, still some, uh, still some more investigation to be done. Get this thing working. Thank you.